This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, we had green on our screens as stocks recovered most of last week's losses as investors calmed their fears over the Federal Reserve's aggressive rate hike plan and with recent economic data supporting that narrative. For the week, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ climbed 5.5%, 65 and 7.5% respectively. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell calmed the markets on Wednesday when he told Congress that the Fed will watch to see if economic growth and inflation are slowing, in which case the pace of rate hikes will slow down. The central bank's aggressive rate hiking plan has caused markets to anticipate high odds of a recession, sending the S&P down into bear market territory with a decline of 20% from its all-time high set just this past January. So for now, bad news, any economic data that indicates a significant slowdown in the economy is a good thing for the market. It means that the worst of the rate hikes could be over after the next few meetings. Some of that moderating data came out Friday. The University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Index had a reading of 50, lower than the prior result, and well below an April reading, which was above 60. The index has steadily trended lower since then as consumers grow less confident about their ability to spend in the face of persistently high inflation. New home sales were 696,000 for May, slightly above April, but much lower than what we had in January at 811,000. Overall, new home sales have dropped this year as mortgage rates have climbed higher. Now, the big news was the S&P Services PMI came in at 51.6 versus the expectation of 53. And manufacturing PMI came in at 52 versus the expectation of 56. Both much weaker than anyone was prepared for and now much closer to the neutral line of 50. It's just another data point that suggests the building weakness in the economy. Also, remember, the U.S. economy is a 75% service-based economy, so a reading for the service-based PMI of 51.6 is, is very concerning. Now, when you include this newest data that reflects the state of both services, manufacturing, falling retail sales, falling existing home sales, and news of actually some layoffs coming from Netflix and JP Morgan, you begin to recognize that the economy appears to be slowing. Meanwhile, the labor market remains strong. Now, the bond market is also sensing the slowdown in the economy as bond prices continue to rise in price, sending yields down. And this suggests two things. One, Traders and investors don't believe the Fed will carry through with their threat to take rates substantially higher. And number two, there are massive, massive foreign buyers who are happy to buy our Treasury bond yields well above what they can get in their own country. So Jerome Powell's testimony couldn't have come at a better time this week for the markets as investors had gotten extremely pessimistic and now have a staggering amount of cash on hand after this recent sell-off. Bank of America noted its private clients have 12.6% of their assets in cash. That's the highest since October of 2020. Now, this isn't surprising since historically, the public buys most at the top and they invest the least at the bottom. And the market is off to its worst first half start since 1970. And it's only bad for investors who have locked in their losses and sold and went to cash. The good news is in the previous years that were down at least 15% at the midway point, they saw the final six months of the year higher every single time with an average return of 24%. So remember, bear markets, corrections, they're normal, and the low will be clear only in hindsight. New highs are inevitable, but rather than ride the emotional waves from moment to moment, keep an even keel, look longer term. Time, patience, and a level head are the investor's best friends in rough and tumble volatile markets like we're experiencing these days. Now, my son Ryan and I, we have over 68 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply call us at 844 PLAN NYC. That's 844 PLAN NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.